iPhone 10 Plus already being hinted as part of the devices we'll see in 2018. And all this claim that the new trends for 2018 are also of devices that are able to fold, and benchmarks on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus have brought up some concerns. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I am really impressed with the fact that I made a positive comment about Monday yesterday, and everybody just went happy. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today have to do with deals. If you're in the market for anything this Black Friday, and I know everybody is, Amazon's deals are obviously going to be very compelling, and the list is very long. And we're talking about Amazon devices like the Echo, Kindles, etc., in addition to the tablets. Uh, the list, again, is just not even worth me going into details. You can learn more about everything in the link in the description. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S9, as uh, we've got some leaked benchmarks that have people concerned. We're expecting an early launch as soon as January or February to counteract the iPhone X, but we're noticing 4 gigabytes of RAM in the benchmarks, and performance doesn't really seem to be that great. Obviously, stay tuned, it's too early to know. And for those of you complaining about the lack of fast wireless charging on the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone X, apparently iOS 11.2 is going to fix that. How early that software update is going to come, we don't exactly know, but we hear from manufacturers of fast wireless chargers that this option is coming, so uh, yeah, apparently that feature is going to just happen. Now, we've got some very interesting news coming from analysts. For those of you wondering why all the patents of foldable displays and devices like the Axon M, according to analysts, one of the major changes coming to 2018 is foldable designs on smartphones. And this is interesting as we obviously have seen the Axon M. It brings a different approach to foldable designs and a lot of people are polarized between whether they like it or not. So apparently Oppo and Samsung are going to be the next OEMs that are bringing something. Whether that's going to be compelling or not is something we're gonna have to prove next year whenever the review devices arrive. And finally, the hot news today have to do with the iPhone 10 Plus that we hear is going to be just part of the lineup of 2018. 6.5-inch OLED display, but uh, we hear that there's also a third device, uh, LCD panel 6.1-inch iPhone 10 something, which we're not exactly sure what the purpose of this phone will be, in addition to the regular-sized iPhone 10 that might bring a spec boost, but no significant changes in design. This is all fine and dandy if it does happen, but it leads me to the question today. For those of you that have been trying the iPhone 10, let us know, do you think that it's point or if it's worth it to have an iPhone 10 Plus? Because in my case, well, so long as they don't make it as heavy as the iPhone 10, why not? But leave us a comment down below. Love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow Daily up here and our thoughts on the Google Pixel 2 XL down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.